getting on top tonight. Yeah. I'm rough, they glock tonight. Oh, yeah. We gon' start tonight. Yeah. That pussy in part tonight. Yeah. You gon' need a vet tonight. I'm being that cat tonight. You need a hat tonight. I'm pulling that hat tonight. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Jasmine Lee here. And I know I did the losing my virginity story time before, but I decided to redo it because. The last one I did was a little chaotic. And I don't know if y'all could understand, like, the timeline and stuff like that. And plus, my little sister, she watched my channel. And she was just like, I um just wanted you to get more in-depth and actually say what happened. Because my little sisters, they're a lot, of, lot younger than me. So, I don't really talk to them about stuff like this. But since she watched my videos, I'm going to get more in-depth, get a little advice, stuff like that. So, let's get right into the video. Okay, so this was back in 2014. Yeah, 2014. I was 19 years old. That's when I lost my virginity. So, I was 19 years old. And, okay, let me give a little background. So, I grew up in a single mother household. And... We was we was a Christian family, so no none of that really went on in my household. Not saying that my mom was strict or anything like that. It was just a point of like we believed in God, we believed in waiting until marriage, and it honestly wasn't even on my mind. Like I didn't have thoughts about sex, and like I was innocent basically. Like I was so innocent, and then it got. I graduated high school and it started get it started becoming known to me like I started like I knew what sex was don't get me wrong when I was younger like in ninth tenth grade and stuff like that we had sex ed I knew what sex was all of that but at the same time I was still innocent like it was still gross to me is what I'm trying to say like it was still something I was like ew like no that seemed like it hurt I would never do that stuff like that Oh, and I was scared of getting pregnant. I was always scared of getting pregnant. So, 19 year old, 18, 19 year old me, I started getting a little rebellious. Like, that's the time of my life where I was like, I was wilding out. I was sneaking out all the time. I was, I was just trying to break loose, basically. And so, let me get around to where it happened mm. so fast forward I graduate high school and I get on this dating app uh POF so I'm on POF and I started um talking to different dudes on there meeting up with different dudes plus I was in I was going to a community college that was like um right up the road from where I live and stuff like that so I was starting to talk to different guys guys starting to notice me and stuff like that so I was um really getting out there like really trying to like grow up so my mom still she wasn't having it she was not letting me go out and stuff like that so um there was this other girl in the um church she was older than me let's just call her um bertha i don't know why that came to my mind but yeah so there was this other girl at the church named bertha and she was older than me and she had a car. Well, she didn't have a car, but she used to sneak out all the time and take her mom's car. So she would come and get me and we would sneak out the house. It's not funny, but it's like, dang, like I was crazy. So we would sneak out the house and stuff like that. And that's, I feel like that's where like it started happening. Like once I got away with it, like kept sneaking out, kept sneaking out. I, um, I just thought I was a rebel. I was like, yeah, I'm untouchable. Like, I can do anything with my life and stuff like that. And then, so, at this time, I think my mama still thought, like, I was still... Nah, my mama knew. I think she ain't know, like, in depth, but I think my mom knew, like, oh, yeah, she's starting to, like, do stuff. She's starting to branch out, stuff like that. So, fast forward, um... My um, I put my best friend on to POF because my best friend and me, we was basically the same way. Like we both wasn't having sex during high school. We looked at other girls like, "Ew, you having sex in high school?" Like that's how we was looking at them. Like no. 
So, um, me and my best friend, we both the same way. So then my best friend, she had met, I put her on POF and she met this guy on POF. And they was talking for months and months and months. And mind you, this guy was a Marine. So she, uh, they talking, they getting to know each other. And I'm like, ooh, I'm like, ooh, put me on, put me on, stuff like that. Like put me on one of his friends. So then, because she was, um, he lived the Marine base from where we live in San Diego, California. It was like, I think it was 30 to 45 minutes away, something like that. So you had to, um, you had to have a car to get there and stuff like that. Or you could like take the trolley or something like that. So, um, she would take the trolley and stuff to go see him. So I was like, oh, I want to go like tell him to put, um, put me on and stuff like that. But I knew my mama wasn't going to let me go. So, um, I would just say I'm going with my best friend to like, um, the fair and stuff like that. But we would be like going on base and stuff like that. So she put me on one of his friends and we going to call him, um, Chris. So she put me on to his friend Chris and me and Chris, we talking, we talking and this boy, like, I would not say he was my first love. He wasn't like really, he wasn't really like, I liked him. Don't get me wrong, but I wasn't in love with him and I wasn't, and I had love for him as like, Oh, he cool like that. But I wasn't in love with him. But, um, I was liking that attention and that time that he was giving me all the time. So it came to the point we was talking every day, every day, every day, every day for months. So, um, it was just one night we were in particular that we were just talking and we used to talk on kick. So the messages could delete. If you remember kick, then yeah. So we used to uh, talk on there. So the messages could delete. So we talking one night and he was just like, um, he was asking me if I ever had sex before and stuff like that. And I was telling him no. Um, and stuff like that. And he was like, well, if you ever want to, I want to be your first. I love you so much and stuff like that. And I was just like, okay, yeah, you're going to be my first whenever I'm ready and stuff like that. So mind you, my best friend, the dude, his friend that she had been talking to, she had, I don't know if she lost it to, I can't remember if she lost it. But I know they had already been having sex. Like, they had already been having sex. She had already been bragging to me, everything. So, it would be, uh, in the Marine barracks, the, um, the rooms is, like, set up, like, it's the, um, bed, twin bed on this side, twin bed on this side. So, you could look across and see your roommate. So, it would be nice we would be in there and they would be doing it and I would just be across, like, hey, <laughs> Chris would think something about to happen. No, sweetie. I'm sorry. So we'll just be laying there and stuff like that. And uh yeah, just laying there and wait until they get done and then finish hanging out and go home. So uh it was uh fast forward, fast forward, we had talked about that and it was just one in particular weekend. We was like, Yeah, we're gonna spend a whole weekend together, we're gonna get a hotel. And it's going to happen this day. And we was just, we talked about it, planned it out. And that was that. But I had to come up with an excuse. Like, oh yeah, like, how am I going to spend the whole weekend away? Like, it was different, like sneaking away for the day and stuff like that. But sneaking away for the whole weekend, it was a whole different story. And so, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Around this time, the um, uh, the fair, the fair was um uh, here. It was like a uh, I forgot what it's called, but the fair was there. So I told, and the fair was far away. So I told my mama that um, me and my best friend was gonna go to the fair, and that um, her dad was t uh supposed to take us and stuff like that. Get ready. I didn't, I was trying to bring a change of clothes, but I ended up like, I had this big old makeup box. So I took the makeup box, <laughs> stuffed all my clothes in the, like, talk about desperate. I stuffed all my clothes in the makeup box to make it seem like I was just taking the makeup. Like my mom was even, I don't know if she even remember this, but my mom was even suspicious of why I was taking a makeup box. But I was like, oh, just in case. Cause around this time, this is when I first started wearing makeup. 
So I was like, oh, uh, just in case I want to uh, touch up and stuff. But I stuff my toothbrush, clothes, uh, change of clothes, and um, yeah, basically everything I needed. I stuffed it, like balled it up real, real tight in this makeup box. And then so um, hours go by. I'm waiting for my um, best friend, her dad, to um, get us to drop us off at the trolley so we could go um, meet up with them. So um we waited we waited and she was like oh my dad can't she called me and she was like oh my dad can't take us because he gotta go to work and stuff like that so all i should have known like i should have known once stuff started going wrong i was like i should have i should have left it alone i should have left it alone because in the back of my head i didn't even want to lose it like i was like why am i like doing it with this dude or i don't even like we only been talking for a couple months and like I was his girl, like he was calling me his girl, but I wasn't feeling it how he was feeling it. And I don't even know if he was feeling it. I think he was just and he was older. So he probably was just saying all that just to get in my drawers. So not probably, he was. So um fast forward, it gets to um it's hours and hours going by. So I was like, dang, like how we gonna get there? So, at this time, my brother had a car. My brother is um, a couple, like, 11 months older than me. But it, he had a car and I didn't. So, I called him and I asked him if he could take us to the trolley and drop us off and stuff. And he was like, yeah, just give me a minute, stuff like that. So, I told my mom that my brother was going to take me and um, because my best friend dad can take us. So, she was like, yeah, that's fine. So, um, we go out. My brother, he drop us to the trolley, drop us off. That was that. We get on the um the trolley and we go and we meet up with them at the uh station. My mom, oh not my mom. Uh, my brother he had no idea. My brother was clueless. Like he really thought he was just dropping us off at the stage. Never know he dropped me out to do the do. So then we get off train they waiting for us we get in the car and i'm in the front with him and she in the back with her dude or whatever so we drive around and uh first thing we go get some food and we go and get some food and we went to mcdonald's we ain't go nowhere special or nothing so we went to mcdonald's but i wasn't hungry at the time like the whole time i'm just thinking like dang this really about to happen this really about to happen so we dropped them off on base and we went to go check into the hotel. So we pull up to the hotel and we were staying at the Marriott. So I think that's the only thing I like to brag about about my first times because it was at the Marriott. But because <laughs> you know, other people they lose it in the car, like at a park. So no, the Marriott. So <laughs> we um we go into the hotel and we going to check in and um the the check-in lady, she was like, oh, is this your wife? Um, is she down for the weekend to see you? Because um, he showed his, like, cat card thing um, for to check in. And she was like, is she down for the weekend? Like, just asking us a bunch of questions. And he was like, yeah, this is my wife and stuff like that. I'm feeling like, boy, stop. <laughs> I was feeling like that, bitch. Because he called me his wife. So I was like, um, yeah, his wife. So we check in and then we go upstairs. By this time when we in the elevator, my heart starts to beat in so hard because um at this time it's like seven, eight o'clock at night. So we in the elevator and I'm so nervous, I'm barely even talking. And he looking at me, but he like he could see that I'm nervous, so he like put his arm around me. He like, uh, it's okay, da da da. So we get off the elevator, go into the room, and he, the room was set up like a suite style. So as soon as you walk in, there was like a living room area, and then you walk further in, and that was the um, king size bed. It had a flat screen in there, everything. It was real, real nice, real nice room. So um, he sits at the couch, and he's um, eating like his food and stuff like that. He got like a chicken sandwich and some fries and stuff like that. So I go to the bed and I'm sitting on the bed and my mom was blowing my phone up because by this, I didn't tell her that I was going to be staying out like for the weekend. I just told her that we was going to the fair. So my mom is blowing my phone up, blowing my phone up. 
So I'm sitting there nervous to say, I'm like, oh my God, like I'm gonna be in so much trouble when I get home. Like I might as well enjoy this cause I'm gonna be dead when I get home. So she, um, she blown my phone up. She blown my phone up and sorry if I keep playing with my hair. It's just so soft. But uh, she blown my phone up and I turned my phone off cause she was just doing too much. She started texting me. She was like, where you at? You gonna get your ass beat, da da da, saying just a whole bunch of stuff. So I was just like, oh my God. So I turned my phone off. And then once I turned my phone off, he was, by that time he was done eating. And I'm still uh sitting on the bed, just sitting there and I uh turned on the TV to uh put something on. I think I put on Family Guy, I think. But anyway, so I think I put on Family Guy. And then so he come over to the bed and it immediately turns the show off. And I'm like, um, he like leans on me to like lay me back. So he was laying me back. We um kissed him, making out. And um, I'm just thinking in my head, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So we just making out for a long, 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 long time. So it, it felt like a long time. I think it was like 30 minutes. So yeah, we was making out. And then that's when it starts to get a little more intense. So we, you know, slowly getting clothes off back and forth, back and forth. And then, so this is when like, you know, he went down a little box, whatever. And that was like my first time getting head. So I was like, mm. I was trying to figure out what everybody was so hype about. Because to me, it wasn't. No, so he do that or whatever, and it was alright. So he come back up and he tries to stick it in, and I think like it was crazy because in my head I was thinking like, okay, yeah, I'm ready, but my body was not ready because it was not letting him go in like for the light. It was not letting him go in, so he kept trying and trying and trying to put it in. And my body was just rejecting it. Like, it would just squeeze up tighter and tighter and tighter where he can't get in. And then, so, I should have known. I should have stopped it. But no, my dumb ass. So, um, he kept on trying for, like, a good 30 minutes. It would not go in. So, we was like, fuck it, whatever. Because we was tired by this point. So, um, he lay down. We go to sleep for, um, for a little bit. And then... He wakes up like, it was like 3, 4 in the morning. He wakes up and I'm like half asleep. So he wakes up, you know, we get to kissing again and stuff like that. I'm still half asleep, mind you. And he, um, he like jammed it in. And then that's when it like finally went in and it was like, oh my God, like, what the? And it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it was. It was just like, like it, it hurt, but it didn't hurt like how most girls be like, oh my God, da, da, da. but I think it was because he wasn't as big because a year later when I had sex again, like for the first time, it hurt, hurt real, real, real bad. So, um, that happened, did the do afterwards, I was just like, I was still in a moment, so I was like, oh my god, I lost my virginity to him. And I I thought like, oh my god, yeah, I love him now. Da, da, da. We're gonna be together. I don't know. I was just so stupid. So next day, I'm turn my phone back on early um I wake up around nine, ten, turn my phone back on. My phone is blown up by my mama. Cuss me out, get home, da da da. I tell him I'm on my way home. And so we go from the whole, I tell him now I gotta leave. Like, I'd be like, I, I told him I gotta go home. He was like, why? Da, da, da. I was like, I just gotta go. He was like, I got this room for the weekend. I was like, well, you and your homeboy could just like have fun and stuff. But I gotta go home. Like, I gotta go. And so, um, we go, he, t he called his friend and, um, we go back on base to get them, to meet up with them. We go in the uh, barracks room and we chilling in there for a little bit. 
and uh, we just chilling, talking. I told my best friend, I was like, yeah, we did it. Da -da. She was like, oh my God, stuff like that. I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I told her and then I, after another hour or two, I make my way home. We both make our way home. <sighs> and it was just like afterwards i just didn't feel the same like i hated the feeling that i had like i felt so ashamed like i was like i don't ew why did i do that like why did i lose it to him i didn't even like like him like that and then i tell people like we stopped talking because um because um a couple months like gradually i just stopped talking to him like little by little and I tell people it's because he deployed, but it wasn't because he deployed. It was because, like, I just, I couldn't do it. Like, no. he I knew he wasn't the one, and I just gave him something so precious. I was just, I regretted it so bad, so I couldn't look at him, talk to him. I was just like, I don't want nothing to do with him. So, um, that happened whatever when i got home i was in trouble period that's all y'all need to know i was in trouble um i don't even think my mama would talk to me so my stepdad was the one that was like i don't know why you did that like talking to me and stuff because i don't think my mama would even talk to me because she was pregnant with my little brother at the time and she didn't need to be stressed out yelling at me and stuff like that so i felt bad about that but yeah so that happened and I didn't have sex again for another year after that. Cause I was just like, I was so ashamed. Like I was so sad. I was like, why did I do that? But yeah, now I'm good. Now I don't regret it as much. I wish I would've waited. I still wish I would've waited. Do I wish I would've waited till marriage or do I think I could've waited till marriage? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I could have waited to marriage. And I don't know if that was the plan for me. But <sighs> word of advice, do it when you ready. Do it with somebody that you love, somebody that you feel like you going to be with. I'm not going to say wait till marriage and stuff like that because I did it. So I wouldn't be a hypocrite and be like, yeah, wait till marriage and da, da, da. But yeah, just do it on your time. Do it when you ready. I would say don't do it in high school because high school is already a confusing time enough. And even doing it at 19 was a confusing time enough because I was still young-minded, still, still naive. So just don't do it too young because that having sex opens up a whole nother gate like a whole nother ball game so i would say just wait until you're ready wait till after high school and yeah that was the story time for today i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good youtube stuff and uh, i'll see y'all in my next video uh, little mama, she my flavor She can drink it straight with no chaser